time to do some work. You know what? I don't think... I was kind of waiting for it, too. In that last video we posted, I was waiting to get roasted for the exhaust. This, oh, yeah. yeah. Stock exhaust. It's, uh, yeah, it's not the greatest. Because I heard it in that video when I was pulling off. Mm -hmm. You were recording. I was like, ah, it's a little <laughs> painful. But uh, we'll get there. I got an exhaust coming. Uh, but today, I'm just going to switch out the shifter. So I'm going to put a little shorty on. All right. So this is the guy that's going to go on, right? And just going to be replacing this piece here. So I watched the demo video where the guy did it on a similar bike, the MT-07. And all I need is a, all I need, right, is a 10 millimeter socket wrench. And uh, should, this should pop out. This should slide out. Swap it out. Put it back in. Wrench it down. And that's it. It's the 10 minute job that hopefully won't be an hour. Uh, but we'll see. That's kind of like famous last words. Oh yeah, it should only be 10 minutes. <laughs> right? Um, but that's all today. Eventually I want to get a shorty on the brake too. But the problem is, if you come over here, Mike. Well, I guess this is a good problem to have. I don't know if you can catch it on the camera, but it's got this Brembo master cylinder. So it's not a typical brake lever. So I need something that's fitted for the master cylinder. So they have those, the same company makes them, but they're out of stock. So I have a feeling a lot of guys are throwing them on this bike. Um, other than that, Mike said you guys need to name it. Mm -hmm. What do you think? I don't have a real name for it. I can't even think of one right now. Yeah. I mean, I played around with a few in my head, but let me know, uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments and maybe we'll decide on a name, like whatever the most liked one is, mm -hmm. something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nothing. If it's like, <laughs> people could really <laughs> say some. It's gotta be like, I gotta be able to say it to somebody with a straight face. That's the only, yeah. it's the only rule. We can have like a name and then we can have like a name, you know, but the, you guys get the point. All right, <laughs> let's, let's get to work. All right, more stickers for the sticker collection, right? I'm guessing this is for the lubrication of this joint right yeah. here. But they said on newer bikes, you shouldn't have to put more lubrication on it. Should be enough on there now. I got a couple hundred miles. Um, damn, that's gonna feel good, man. Two fingers. Yeah. Yep. What's up? So, how many days has it been, Mike, since we did the uh, clutch? Just, I think two days, two right? Two days, yeah. Yeah. So, we're going to train some shoulders today. Um, this is going to be a good session. I got some glycerol, aka pump squared. So, if you guys see me on like Instagram, uh, usually it's every other post on my story is me taking that glycerol because it's like 12 bucks online and uh, the pumps are pretty mean. You actually put me onto it, Mike, because mm -hmm. I was just taking like the pump squared, which is still good. That's more like L-citrulline, um, but that glycerol, it doesn't compare. So we'll go in, mix that. Gotta take the bike out. This is a nice day. Yeah. That's about it. You want to mention your TikTok at all? Oh, yeah. You wait? Oh yeah. No, I will. So we're shooting some. Thanks for the plug, Mike. <laughs> so we're shooting some TikToks. Um, 
I've got three up. Pretty proud. Yeah. The last one did good. It did. It did, man. Um, again, shout out to Mike for all that. <laughs> he's been helping me a ton. Obviously filming them, editing some. I edited one, though. Yeah. Yeah. The last two by yeah. yourself. Came out nice. But we're going to film some stuff for the bike. Probably, probably a TikTok in the gym, too. So, yeah, if you want to see some TikToks, I mean, I'm not going to be dancing, so don't get your hopes up. But if you want to see some TikToks, it's uh, just smirk as well. So maybe go, what do you want on TikTok? Maybe just follow and like, right? Yeah. Hit the plus. Hit the plus. Yep. Hit the plus, guys. All right. So speaking of pre, we'll mix a little bit. All right. So this guy is the pump squared I was talking about. Killer. I'll either mix that. Honestly, a lot of times I'll do with their raw burn, which is actually kind of their thermogenic fat burner. But I'll mix in that. Um, that way I get, it's like 150 milligrams of caffeine in the raw burn. Plus, it's got the yohim beans, so you really start sweating. And then on top of that, with the glycerol, you get a good pump. So I'll do sessions off of that. Or a lot of times, I'll do them like I'm doing today. About two scoops of the raw pre. It's only 50 milligrams of caffeine, so two scoops, 100 milligrams. Um, and it's got a couple other ingredients, a little bit of L-citrulline, it's a little bit of pump in there. Um, it's got a little bit of glycerol itself, but only one and a half grams versus this is a six gram serving. And then um, yeah, a little, obviously caffeine. It does have some yohimbe, it's gonna make you sweat a little bit. So mix in two scoops of that. With this guy, the pump is pretty good. And then usually I just do one scoop because between the two, that's going to be nine grams. Yeah, nine grams of uh, glycerol. So that's plenty for me. So if you guys want to check it out, Code Merc will save you a little bit and it helps me out. So I appreciate you. Music's a little loud in here today, but worked out. Brandon and I showed up at the same time, so we just tag teaming this one. First exercise, we did a warm up compound lift. Went pretty heavy, like six to eight reps on the top couple sets. Backed it off on the last one. And then really the rest is gonna be a lot of supersets, a lot of drop sets. Get as much blood flow as we can into all three heads of our delt.
It's like rep number 20. You want to go heavier? That was a session a little bit quicker today. Um, well, one is shoulder. So usually my shoulder workouts are like 90 minutes or so. Um, they go a little bit quicker just because I'm doing more supersets, uh, usually more drop sets usually, just to get a little bit more blood in there. So the workout ends up shortening up. So I'm not doing as long, I'm not doing as many like two, three minute rest times. That first exercise we did, we were going pretty heavy on those dumbbell shoulders, shoulder presses, but other than that, Kept it pretty quick, pretty intense. Um, that's about it, man. I know uh, we got a move coming up soon. I know for sure I'll be doing one more video here in Akron. But we haven't filmed it yet. So if you guys want to throw a couple suggestions down in the comment section, I'd appreciate that. Um, maybe throw, I don't know. We have a couple ideas, but we'll see. See what you guys want to see, too. And that's about it. Other than that, we were in the garage last. We said... We're thinking of a name for the bike, right? Yeah. So it's not the R1, but I was thinking the Bat, right? The I told bat? You, did I tell you that one? No. I think Ryan came up with that one. That's clean. Right? It's kind of, I don't know, a little Batman-esque, kind of. Mm -hmm. But I feel like if this is the Bat, then what would the R1 be? I don't even know. Right? So I feel like the Bat is like, it's the Bat. It's the, it's the leader bike, 1000cc. I don't even know. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. That's what I'm leaning leaning towards. But then I'm kind of, who knows what the next bike will be called. But move. I got a lot to learn on this one still, so let's not get ahead of ourselves. But that's a workout. I appreciate you guys sticking through the video, following everything. Um, for real. It's been an interesting year on a lot of levels. But some dope stuff is going to continue to hopefully happen and man before long it's gonna be a little bit warmer where we're filming like mm -hmm. yeah but uh that's all i got for you guys it's a little shoulder session but what do i know we just married.